Okay, so I'm into Office 365, and I want to set up my conversion chart for the recipes. So the first thing I will do is go into Office 365 and Word and have this come up. And I want new blank document. And as Word Online comes up, I may also want to have another tab up with my recipes because I'm going to need to know the ingredient amounts for one batch of the recipe. So at this point, the first thing I want to do is save the document with the appropriate name. It would be your class period. So let's say I'm in class fifth period. And then your last name, not mine. And then these would be the conversion sheets. And then click back to the document. And the first thing I like to do is click so that I have no spacing. And you can choose to put your recipes in the middle of the screen. So let's say I wanted to my first recipe, which is chocolate chip cookies. I tend to skip a line. Then I want to insert a chart. So I'm going to go to insert and table. And I need three columns, so I'll go over to three. And I'm definitely going to need at least eight of the uh, rows. So I'm going to click on three by eight table. and it will create one for me. Then the columns need to be labeled. The first thing is going to be ingredient amount. And then the second one will be conversion. And the third one will be final result. So then from here, I want to work vertically. I want to basically complete all of my columns at the same time. So I want to complete all of my ingredient amounts, followed by all of my conversions, followed by all of my final results. So at this point, I would list my ingredients, one in each box. So if I'm making chocolate chip cookies, I have 3 quarters cup of white sugar. And I use the arrows to go down into the next box. Three quarters cup brown sugar. So on and so forth. And I would continue to list. So let's say I get to the bottom and I've run out of space in the column. It's not a problem. After I type in my ingredient, like two eggs, I want to hit the tab button, the tab button again, and the tab button again and it will create a new row for me, which is what I want. And I could do that as many times as I need to. So now I've done all of my ingredients. Now I want to go to my conversions. This is where you're going to need to use the DOM equation editor. So what you need to do on your Chromebooks is go to the magnifying glass, which is in the lower left-hand corner here, and click on it. And then you can see the DOM equation editor is right here. So if it's right already on your screen, that's great. It might not be. You may have to click on all apps and then click on DOM equation editor. At this point, another box will show up. And the DOM equation editor will show up. Now, if there's a black box that appears on your screen, just click OK. You want to get rid of this ad so you don't need to see it. And now, from our paper proportions, we can now duplicate what we want on the DOM equation editor. So up here with the X over Y is the fraction, and I'm going to create my proportion that I have on my paper. So the first thing for my proportion 
is going to be three fourths. So I need another fraction in that box. So I'll just come up here to the fraction button and click it again. And now I have a fraction on top of the fraction, which is what I want. So three quarters. And let's say my recipe serves seven people. So I'll put seven on the bottom there. On top of this one is going to be X. And then whatever number of people is in my class, that's what I'm going to have. So for this one, let's just say my class had 21 people in it. Okay. So now I want to go to the next line by hitting enter. And my next thing that I want to do is put in what I get when I cross multiply. So when I cross multiply, I get 7 times x, which is 7x. And I'm going to set that equal to 21 times 3 quarters, which in this case is 15 and 3 quarters. So I need a fraction. And then when I go to the next line, I'm going to put what my x equals. So x equals, when I divide 15 and 3 quarters by 7, I am going to get 2 and a quarter. So 2 and then another fraction box, 1 quarter. So at this point, I now want to go to my save as image. And wait for this to come up. Save it as whatever's there. If you already have one, just overwrite it, as I'm doing. And then when you go to your back to your conversion chart here, you're going to click Insert, Picture, Choose File. And choose the file that you have created with a double click, insert, and it will appear for you in your chart. You can resize it if you'd like. Now, what I would recommend is that you all look for all the three-quarter measurements and duplicate the process. If you still have any questions about how to use the, the DOM equation editor or how to create your charts, Please see me in class.